Alex Jones made a pretty bold prediction, and this blew up even in mainstream media. Mainstream media tries to ignore him most of the time, but um, this even got some headlines in mainstream media. Take a look. In the middle of 2018, already into July, hard to believe, people are like, oh, Alex, you're really telling the truth. How did you know they were planning civil war? They're all over HBO and Bill Maher and CNN and MSNBC and ABC News and uh, Michael Moore's everywhere saying surround the Capitol, surround them, uprise, uh, you know, get violent. How did you know? I told you. I'm not that smart. They they talk about this in their elite publications, and then they develop the plan. They then beta test it with some feelers in the media 13, 14 months ago. And now they're launching in the summer when riots happen, uh, going into the midterm when they know there's the massive political action going on out there. This is it. So, again, it's not that I'm that smart, but I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Everybody knows now they're making their launch towards civil war. Everybody knows they're trying to turn over the checkers board because they're losing. This is it. Now, if you think this was just a one-off comment that he's like, uh, you know, uh, Democrats are civil war or something. No, he has been uh, titling many videos talking about this um, inevitable civil war that the Democrats are going to launch. And he was just tweeting it as if it's like, yeah, totally. Two plus two equals four. Democrats are about to launch civil, civil war on July 4th. That's what's going to happen. So this is even the mainstream media, and they really do normally just ignore Alex Jones. They were like, uh, <coughs> oh, this is too good to pass up. So what I don't understand is it's a lot like those end times people where they have a, an actual date where they predict the apocalypse. Like John Hagee, the televangelist, um, you know, fundamentalist Christian guy, he predicted the end of the world. What is it, 2013 or 2014 with the blood moons or something? He wrote a book about it. Like, the world is going to end on this date. It'll be end times. You know, they, there was the Mayan 2012 uh, bullshit. Like, there, there are people who actually make definitive statements about this is going to happen and it's going to happen at this time. And then it doesn't happen. And then these douchebags have the nerve to show their faces in public again and act like... What do you mean? I didn't do, there's no, I didn't say anything incorrect or wrong or, or factually inaccurate. And it's like, dude, you're so, your head is so far up your own ass and you're surrounded by yes men that you think you're above reality. Like you think rules of logic don't apply to you. You think rationality is out the window. And when I say something, it has, it by its very nature, it is accurate, even if it's inaccurate. That's kind of like Trump with his pathological lies, and Hillary, to be fair, with her pathological lies. Like, yeah, whatever, if I contradict myself, it doesn't matter. Contradictions are not a thing, they don't apply to me. So, in Alex's mind, everybody around him is always blowing him and like, Oh, Alex, you're so smart, you're so great, you're so awesome, look at what you've built here, this is wonderful. And they just act like, okay, yeah, sure, go ahead, predict fucking, um, civil war on July 4th. Guess what, dude? Didn't fucking happen. Fact. FACT! FACT! Didn't happen! And watch, he's gonna get, show up and do his show today and act like... What? What is it? I, do you think I look like a giant idiot who is objectively wrong about something where I made uh, strong pronouncements? That doesn't matter, I'm not that, because I'm going to override it with my force of will. Well, your force of will is bullshit, son. You know, just like your show is bullshit. Stop saying ridiculous things, and then acting like when they don't come true. I mean, Alex Jones has been saying the same shit forever. There, Alex Jones from the fucking 1990s was talking about FEMA camps, and they were- uh, He swore up and down that Barack Obama's gonna put us in FEMA camps and implement Agenda 21, which is gonna ban cars, and ban golf courses, and force you into fucking Hobbit homes. And Agenda 21 did not happen! It didn't happen! You're not in a FEMA camp, I'm not in a FEMA camp, people are not in fucking FEMA camps. And then when the government does come up with creepy ass camps where they're doing fucked up things, like with the child separation policy, where they take undocumented immigrants and they throw kids in fucking cages and shit like that, then all of a sudden he's for those camps. He's like, oh well, uh, now Trump is in charge of those camps, and he does the zero tolerance policy with undocumented immigrants, so now I support it. God, you're such a hack, dude. You are such a fucking hack. Civil war? 
Civil War. Now, I have a very straightforward question for Alex Jones and his ilk who may have fallen for this nonsense. Which is it? Are Democrats really scary, evil, powerful people who want to shoot you, or are they weak snowflakes and beta males and male feminists who, you know, have no muscles and no guns and are, you know, just sad excuses for human beings and, and masculine men? Because you try to have it both ways. Oh, look at these weak little snowflake bitches on the left. They're going to need us when, you know, there's an Islamic invasion and we're going to have our guns and we're going to have to protect these weak lefties. So on Monday, they're weak snowflakes. On Tuesday, oh my God, they're going to launch a civil war and attack us with their non-guns. They don't, because consistency is not a thing. Accuracy is not a thing. Facts don't exist to a person like Alex Jones, which is why, by the way, he can go out there and repeatedly, over and over, for at least a dozen shows, talk about how Sandy Hook uh, was a hoax. And then when there's lawsuits against him, he acts like, I never said that. I never said that. Bitch, we have you on tape. Not only do we have you on tape, we have you on tape over and over and over and over from different shows. But there's no shame. There's no shame. He's the ultimate postmodernist because he creates his own truth. I don't care about the truth. I, this is my truth. And even though I said Sandy Hook was a hoax over and over and over and over and over, well, now I'm going to say it's, I, I didn't say that because I'm getting a lawsuit and I want to change the nature of reality, so I'm just going to try to override the objective reality. You're such a sad person. Democrats are planning a civil war on July 4th. It didn't happen. By the way, one of the pieces of evidence he was using to make that argument, a clip of Michael Moore on Bill Maher's show. Now, I saw all the headlines about that, and I watched it, and I was like, okay, let's see what he says. Michael Moore literally references the Civil Rights Act when he talks about, oh, we need to march on Washington, we need to not allow them to do these shitty policies anymore, and what are you willing to die for? So they take the what are you willing to die for part, and they take it out of context, and they act like, oh, he's going to try to start a civil war. When he literally referenced the Civil Rights Act in the answer. The Civil Rights Act where they did peaceful, nonviolent protest. So there's, he's a liar, man. He's a fucking liar. And it, it's just, call it what it is. He's a joke. He's a fucking joke. The Democrats are going to launch a civil war. Oh, please. Are you kidding me in today's day and age? I honestly don't think it even matters how bad it gets. People are so distracted by Netflix and their fucking iPhones and by uh, technology and by so many things that there's no way, really, we're all going to fucking... Uh, put down our Big Mac and go grab a fucking, uh, sh our shitty 22 rifle and try to take on the government when, it, you know, god damn it, the government has tanks and fucking fighter jets and they have chemical weapons and nuclear weapons and really? So, j average Joe, uh, Democrat, so, you know, whatever, some dude who drives a Prius and shops at Whole Foods is gonna suddenly hit the streets and try to take on the U.S. government? Stop being silly. You know you're silly. I don't know why you keep doing this. It's really sad.